Good evening, hyperspinners. Today, I'm going to showcase my council nested wheel. Enjoy. Arcades. Arcades. Consoles. Find your favorite consoles here. Loading. Introducing Hyperspin, believe the hype. This is Odyssey, the new electronic game simulator. You attach Odyssey to the your Magnavox television set Odyssey seconds to create a Odyssey is the first commercial home video game console. Playground. It was developed by a small Odyssey team led by Ralph H. Baer at Sanders Relax. Associates and released by Magnavox in the United States in September 1972 Analogy. and overseas the following year. The Odyssey consists Odyssey of a white, black, and brown box which connects to a television set and two rectangular controllers attached by wires. Like a shooting gallery. It is capable of displaying three square dots on the screen in monochrome black and white. Teacher with differing behavior for the dots depending on the game play, and with no sound capabilities. Players place plastic overlays on the screen to create visuals, and the one or two players for each game control their dots with the three knobs and one button on the controller in accordance with the rules given for the game. Odyssey easily attaches to any brand TV, black and white or color, to create a closed-circuit electronic playground. Odyssey gives you all the exciting action of hockey and 11 other challenging play and learning games for the entire family. Odyssey, a new dimension for your television. Now at your Magnavox dealer. He's listed in the yellow pages. Bob, would you explain what it is we have here? How does Odyssey work? Well, uh, basically, Odyssey is an electronic game simulator that you attach to your television to create a, a totally new play and learning experience. The electronic device is... Fairchild Channel F. The Fairchild Channel F is a game console released by Fairchild Semiconductor in August 1976 at the retail price of $169.95. It has the distinction of being the first programmable ROM cartridge-based video game console, and the first console to use a microprocessor. It was launched as the Video Entertainment System, or VES, but when Atari released their VCS the next year, Fairchild renamed its machine. By 1977, the Fairchild Channel F had sold 250,000 units and was second place behind the VCS. Atari 2600 The Atari 2600 is a video game console released in October 1977 by Atari, Inc. It is credited with popularizing the use of microprocessor-based hardware and cartridges containing game code, instead of having non-microprocessor dedicated hardware with all games built in. The first game console to use this format was the Fairchild Channel F, however, the Atari 2600 receives credit for making the plug-in concept popular among the game-playing public. The console was originally sold as the Atari VCS, for video computer system. Following the release of the Atari 5200, in 1982, the VCS was renamed Atari 2600, after the unit's Atari part number, CX2600. The 2600 was typically bundled with two joystick controllers, a conjoined pair of paddle controllers, and a cartridge game initially Combat and later Pac-Man. The Atari 2600 was wildly successful, 
and during much of the 1980s, Atari was a synonym for this model in mainstream media and, by extension, for video games in general. The Atari 2600 was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame at the Strong in Rochester, New York in 2007. In 2009, the Atari 2600 was named the second greatest video game console of all time by IGN, who cited its remarkable role as the console behind both the first video game boom and the video game crash of 1983, and called it the console that our entire industry is built upon. RCA Studio 2 The RCA Studio 2 is a video game console made by RCA that debuted in January 1977. The graphics of Studio 2 games were black and white and resembled those of earlier Pong consoles and their clones. The Studio 2 also did not have joysticks or similar game controllers but instead used two 10-button keypads that were built into the console itself. This made two-player games difficult because the players would be forced to hold the console and sit extremely close. The console was capable of making simple beep sounds with slight variations in tone and length. One distinct feature of the Studio 2 was its five built-in games. Another was its use of a switchbox that relayed both the modulated RF signal of the console's video to the television set while powering the console with DC power. This type of switchbox would not be seen again until the Atari 5200. The Studio 2 was not a successful product. The previously released Fairchild Channel F made it obsolete at launch and it suffered a final decisive blow when the superior Atari 2600 console was released only 10 months later. It was discontinued in 1979. The name Studio 2 is a reference to RCA's then famous recording studios. The RCA Studio 2 was named as to represent a second studio in which artists could create productions for RCA. Bali Astrocade The Astrocade is a second-generation home video game console and simple computer system designed by a team at Midway, at that time the video game division of Bali. It was marketed only for a limited time before Bali decided to exit the market. The rights were later picked up by a third-party company who re-released it and sold it until around 1984. The Astrocade is particularly notable for its very powerful graphics capabilities for the time of release. Magnavox Odyssey 2 The Magnavox Odyssey 2 known in Europe as the Philips Video Pack G7000, in Brazil as the Philips Odyssey, in the United States as the Magnavox Odyssey 2 and the Philips Odyssey 2, and also by many other names, is a video game console released in 1978. In the early 1970s, Magnavox was an innovator in the home video game industry. They succeeded in bringing the first home video game system to market, the Odyssey, which was quickly followed by a number of later models, each with a few technological improvements. In 1978, Magnavox, now a subsidiary of North American Philips, released the Odyssey 2, its new second-generation video game console. In 2009, the video game website IGN named the Odyssey 2 the 21st greatest video game console, out of its list of 25. Atari 8-bit The Atari 8-bit family is a series of 8-bit home computers introduced by Atari, Inc. in 1979 and manufactured until 1992. All of the machines in the family are technically similar and differ primarily in packaging. They are based on the Mose Technology 6502 CPU running at 1.79 MHz, and were the first home computers designed with custom CO processor chips. Thank you.
Metal in television. The Intellivision is a video game console released by Mattel in 1979. Development of the console began in 1978, less than a year after the introduction of its main competitor the Atari 2600. The word Intellivision is a portmanteau of intelligent television. Over 3 million Intellivision units were sold and a total of 125 games were released for the console. In 2009, Video game website IGN named the Intellivision the number 14 greatest video game console of all time. Sega S.G1000 The S.G1000, which stands for Sega Game 1000, was a cartridge-based video game console manufactured by Sega. This system marked Sega's first entry into the home video game hardware business, and while the system was not popular, it provided the basis for the more successful Sega Master System. VTech Create E-Vision The video technology Create E-Vision was a hybrid computer and video game console introduced by 5Tech in 1981. The hybrid unit was similar in concept to computers such as the APF Imagination Machine, the older Video Brain Family Computer and to a lesser extent the Intellivision Game Console and Coleco Atom Computer, all of which anticipated the trend of video game consoles becoming more like low-end computers. The Create E-Vision was distributed in many European countries, in South Africa, in Israel under the Educat 2002 name, as well as in Australia under the Dick Smith Wizard name. Other names for the system include the FunVision Computer Video Games System, Hanamex Ramesses, and VZ2000. All Create E-Vision and similar clones were designed for use with PAL standard television sets, except the Japanese Create E-Vision which was NTSC and is nowadays much sought after by collectors. The Create E-Vision console sported an 8-bit Rockwell 6502 CPU at a speed of 2 MHz, 1 KB of RAM and 1 6 KB of video RAM, and had a graphics resolution of 256 x 192 with 16 colors and 32 sprites. The console had two integrated joystick-slash-membrane keypad controllers which, when set in a special compartment on top of the console, could be used as a computer keyboard. The Create E-Vision had interfaces for a cassette player, an extra rubber keyboard, floppy disk drive, parallel I.O. interface, modem, Centronics printer, and one memory expansion module for use with the basic language cartridge.
The Create E-Vision was discontinued in late 1985 early 1986. A computer was produced by VTech in 1984 to 1986, based on Create E-Vision hardware and compatible with most of the games, Laser 2001, which sold in Europe and Australia. It was also available in Finland through Salara, with the name of Manager. The manager had a specific keyboard with Finnish layout and characters set. Antex Adventure Vision The Adventure Vision is a self-contained cartridge-based video game console released by Antex Industries in 1982. The Adventure Vision was Antex's second-generation system. Their first console was the Antex Select A game, released a year earlier in 1981. Emerson Arcadia 2001 Arcadia 2001 is a second-generation 8-bit console released by Emerson Radio in 1982 following the release of ColecoVision. It was discontinued only 18 months later, with a total of 35 games having been released. Emerson licensed the Arcadia 2001 to Bandai, which released it in Japan. Over 30 Arcadia 2001 clones exist. Atari 5200 The Atari 5200 Super System, commonly known as the Atari 5200, is a video game console that was introduced in 1982 by Atari Incorporated as a higher-end complementary console for the popular Atari 2600. The 5200 was created to compete with the Intellivision, but wound up more directly competing with the ColecoVision shortly after its release. The 5200 was based on Atari Inc's existing 400-800 computers and the internal hardware was almost identical, although software was not directly compatible between the two systems. The 5200's controllers have an analog joystick and a numeric keypad along with start, pause, and reset buttons. The 360-degree non-centering joystick was touted as offering more control than the 8-way joystick controller offered with the Atari 2600. ColecoVision The ColecoVision is Coleco Industries' second-generation home video game console which was released in August 1982. The ColecoVision offered near-arcade quality graphics and gaming style, and the means to expand the system's basic hardware. Released with a catalog of 12 launch titles, with an additional 10 games announced for 1982, approximately 145 titles in total were published as ROM cartridges for the system between 1982 and 1984. River West Brands currently owns the ColecoVision brand name. In 2009, IGN named the ColecoVision their 12th best video game console out of their list of 25, citing its incredible accuracy in bringing current generation arcade hits home. GC Evect Tracks The Vectrex is a vector display-based video game console that was developed by Western Technologies slash Smith Engineering. It was licensed and distributed first by General Consumer Electric, and then by Milton Bradley Company after their purchase of GCE. It was released in November 1982 at a retail price of $199, as Milton Bradley took over international marketing the price dropped to $150 and then $100 shortly before the video game crash of 1983. The Vectrex exited the market in early 1984. Unlike other non-portable video game consoles, which connected to televisions and rendered raster graphics, 
the Vectrex has an integrated vector monitor which displays vector graphics. The monochrome Vectrex uses plastic screen overlays to simulate color and various static graphics and decorations. At the time, Casio P.V1000 The Casio P.V1000 launched in Japan in October, 1983, for 14,800 yen. The console was based on technology from the previous generation, such as the ColecoVision. Faced with competition from the likes of the Sega S.G1000 and the Nintendo Famicom, the P.V1000 did not last long, in some places disappearing within a matter of weeks. Though the P.V1000 console failed, Casio remodeled the console into a computer known as the P.V2000 which is compatible with P.V1000 controllers but not games and released it in December, 1983. Nintendo Famicom It was initially released in Japan as the family computer also known as Famicom, on July 15, 1983, and was later released in North America during 1985, in Europe during 1986, and Australia in 1987 as the Nintendo Entertainment System. The NES helped revitalize the US video game industry following the video game crash of 1983. Sega Mark III The Sega Mark III is a video game console created by Sega. It is the successor to Sega's earlier S.G1000, and was released in October 1985 in Japan, before being distributed in South Korea and Taiwan later in the decade. Nintendo Entertainment System The Nintendo Entertainment System, also abbreviated as, NES, or simply called Nintendo, is an 8-bit video game console that was released by Nintendo in North America during 1985, in Europe during 1986 and Australia in 1987. In most of Asia, including Japan, China, Vietnam, Singapore, the Middle East and Hong Kong, it was released as the family computer, commonly shortened as either the Famicom, or abbreviated to FC. In South Korea, it was known as the Hyundai Comboy and was distributed by Hynix which then was known as Hyundai Electronics. It was succeeded by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Once the best-selling gaming console of its time, the NES helped revitalize the US video game industry following the video game crash of 1983, and set the standard for subsequent consoles of its generation. With the NES, Nintendo introduced a now standard business model of licensing third-party developers, authorizing them to produce and distribute software for Nintendo's platform. In 2009, the Nintendo Entertainment System was named the single greatest video game console in history by IGN out of a field of 25. Atari 7800 
the Atari 7800 Pro system, or simply the Atari 7800, is a video game console re-released by Atari Corporation in January 1986. The original release had occurred two years earlier under Atari Inc. The 7800 had originally been designed to replace Atari Inc.'s Atari 5200 in 1984, but was temporarily shelved due to the sale of the company after the video game crash. In January 1986, the 7800 was again released and would compete that year with the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Sega Master System. It had simple digital joysticks and was almost fully backward compatible with the Atari 2600, the first console to have backward compatibility without the use of additional modules. It was considered affordable at a price of U.S$140. In 2009, IGN chose the 7800 to be their 17th best video game console of all time. They justified this relatively low ranking with the summary statement, its delayed release, its cancelled peripherals, and a lack of financial backing from the company's new owners all combined to ensure that Atari 7800 would never see any success beyond being a sexier way of playing Atari 2600 titles. Nintendo Famicom Disk System The family computer disk system, sometimes called the Famicom Disk System, the Disk System, or simply the FDS, was released on February 21, 1986 by Nintendo as a peripheral for the Famicom console in Japan. It was a unit that used proprietary floppy disks, called disk cards, for data storage. It was announced, but not released, for the North American Slash PAL Nintendo Entertainment System. Through its entire production span, 1986-2003, 4.44 million units were sold. The device was connected to the Famicom deck by plugging a modified cartridge known as the RAM adapter into the system's cartridge port, which attached via a supplied cable to the disk drive. The RAM adapter contained 32 kilobytes of RAM for temporary program storage, 8 KB of RAM for tile and sprite data storage and an ASIC known as the 2C33. The ASIC acted as a disc controller for the floppy drive, and also included additional sound hardware featuring primitive wavetable synthesis and FM synthesis capabilities. The disc cards used were double-sided, with a total capacity of 112 KB per disc. Many games spanned both sides of a disc, requiring the user to switch sides at some point during gameplay. A few games used two full discs or four sides. The disc system was capable of running on six C cell batteries or the supplied AC adapter. Batteries would usually lo- Wow Action Max! Action Max is a home video game console using VHS tapes for games. It was created in 1987 by Worlds of Wonder. The Action Max had a very limited release outside of the U.S. NEC PC Engine The PC Engine is a Japanese version of the TurboGrafx-16 and was a collaborative effort between the relatively young Hudson Soft and NEC. NEC's interest in entering the lucrative video game market coincided with Hudson's failed attempt to sell designs for advanced graphics chips to Nintendo. The PC Engine is a very small video game console, due primarily to a very efficient three-chip architecture and its use of Who cards. The cards were about the size of a credit card similar to the card format used by the Sega Master System for budget games. However, unlike the Sega Master System, the TurboGrafx-16 used Who cards exclusively. TurboGrafx-16 featured a Western Design Center 65SC02 processor and a custom 16-bit graphics processor, as well as a custom video color encoder chip, all designed by Hudson. The TurboGrafx-16 was the first console to have an optional CD module, allowing the standard benefits of the CD medium such as more storage, cheaper media costs, and Redbook audio. The efficient design, 
backing of many of Japan's major software producers, and the additional CD-ROM capabilities gave the PC Engine a very wide variety of software, with several hundred games for both the Who card and CD formats. The P Sega Master System The Master System, abbreviated to SMS, is a third-generation video game console that was manufactured and released by Sega in 1985 in Japan, as the Sega Mark III, 1986 in North America and 1987 in Europe. The original SMS could play both cartridges and the credit card-sized Sega cards, which retailed for cheaper prices than cartridges but had lower storage capacity. The SMS also featured accessories such as a light gun and 3D glasses which were designed to work with a range of specially coded games. The Master System was released as a direct competitor to the Nintendo Entertainment System in the third video game generation. The SMS was technically superior to the NES, which predated its release by nine months in North America but failed to overturn Nintendo's significant market share advantage in Japan and North America. In the European, Oceanic, and Brazilian markets, this console allowed Sega to outsell Nintendo, due to its wider availability. It enjoyed over a decade of life in those territories and was supported in Europe up until 1996. Up until 1994, it was the console with the largest active installed user base in Western Europe, peaking at 6.25 million units in 1993. The console was redesigned several times both for marketing purposes and to add features, most notably in Brazil. The later Sega Game Gear is effectively a handheld master system, with a few enhancements. In 2009, the master system was named the 20th best video game console of all time by the video gaming website IGN, behind both its com Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis, also known as Sega Mega Drive, is a fourth-generation video game console developed and produced by Sega. It was originally released in Japan in 1988 as Mega Drive then in North America Indiana 1989 as Sega Genesis, and in Europe, Australia and other PAL regions in 1990 as Mega Drive. The reason for the two names is that Sega was unable to secure legal rights to the Mega Drive name in North America. The Sega Genesis is Sega's third console and the successor to the Sega Master System with which it has backward compatibility when the separately sold power base converter is installed. The Sega Genesis was the first of its generation to achieve notable market share in continental Europe and North America, where it competed against a wide range of platforms, including both dedicated gaming consoles and home computer systems. Two years later, NEC TurboGrafx-16. TurboGrafx-16, fully titled as TurboGrafx-16 Entertainment Super System and known in Japan as the PC Engine, is a video game console developed by Hudson Soft and NEC, released in Japan on October 30, 1987, and in North America on August 29, 1989. The TurboGrafx-16 has an 8-bit CPU and a dual 16-bit GPU, and is capable of displaying 482 colors simultaneously, out of 512. With dimensions of 14 cm x 14 cm x 3.8 cm or 5.5 inch x 5.5 inch x 1.5 inch, the NEC PC Engine holds the record for the world's smallest game console ever made. In the United Kingdom, Telegames released a slightly altered version of the US model simply as the TurboGrafx around 1990 in extremely limited quantities. Although there was no full-scale PAL region release of the system, imported PC Engine consoles were largely available in France and Benelux through major retailers thanks to the unlicensed importer Sodi Peng. In 2000, NEC Super Graph Fix. The Super Graphics is video game console created by NEC. It is an upgraded version of the PC Engine, 
known as the TurboGrafx 16 in North America, released exclusively in Japan, primarily in response to the Super Famicom Super Nintendo Entertainment System outside of Japan by Nintendo. Originally announced as the PC Engine 2, the machine was purported to be a true 16-bit system with improved graphics and audio capabilities over the original PC Engine. Expected to be released in 1990, the Super Graphfix was rushed to market, debuting several months earlier in late 1989 with only modest improvements over the original PC Engine. Only seven games were produced which took advantage of the improved Super Graphfix hardware, and two of those could be played on a regular PC Engine, however the Super Graphfix is backwards compatible with all PC Engine and PC Engine CD-ROM games bringing the compatible software total up to nearly 700. The system was not widely adopted and is largely seen as a commercial failure. NEC PC Engine CD NEC PC Engine CD The TurboGrafx-16 failed to break into the North American market and sold poorly, which has been blamed on inferior marketing. However in Japan the PC Engine was very successful, where it gained strong third-party support and outsold the Famicom at its 1987 debut, eventually becoming the Super Famicom's main rival lots of revisions, at least 17 distinct models, were made, such as portable versions and a CD-ROM add-on dot consists of two components, a compact CD player and the interface unit, which connects the CD player into the PC Engine console itself. These were sold separately or as part of a bundle. The interface unit also stores save data and provides a common power supply for the PC Engine and the CD player. A system card is required for the PC Engine to access the functions of the CD player. Later revisions of both, the CD player and the interface unit, featured improved disk reading capabilities. Amstrad GX 4000 The GX 4000 was Amstrad's short-lived attempt to enter the game's console market. The console was released in Europe in 1990 and was an upgraded design based on the still popular CPC technology. The GX4000 shared hardware with Amstrad's CPC Plus computer line, which were released concurrently, this allowed the system to be compatible with the majority of CPC Plus software. The GX4000 was both Amstrad's first, and only attempt at entering the console market. Whilst having enhanced graphics capabilities, it failed to gain popularity in the market, and was quickly discontinued, selling 15,000 units in total. James Harding of the time said that the console was promptly outgunned by the 16-bit Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo it failed the cardinal test of entrepreneurship, stamina. <laughs> NEC TurboGrafx CD The TurboGrafx-16 was the first video game console to have a CD-ROM peripheral, which was first released as the PC Engine CD-ROM add-on in Japan in April 1988, and then released in the United States as the TurboGrafx-CD in 1990. This was the first time that CD-ROM discs were used as a storage medium for video games. The TurboGrafx-CD CD debuted on August 1, 1990 at a prohibitive $399.99. Monster Lair and Fighting Street were the initial TurboGrafx-CD CD titles. Wise Book 1 and 2 soon followed. However, the TurboGrafx-CD CD catalog grew at a very slow rate compared to the library of TurboChip titles. The TurboGrafx-CD CD came packaged in a very large box, 85% of which was filled with protective styrofoam inserts. By some accounts, no other video game console has been packaged in such an overkill manner. The TurboGrafx-6 CD did however come with a large plastic carrying case that could comfortably hold the TurboGrafx-16 base system, TurboGrafx-CD, all AC adapters, two 3 controllers, 
and a few games. Although the TurboGrafx CD library was relatively small, American gamers could draw from a wide range of Japanese software since there was no region protection on T.GCD, PC Engine CD-ROM software. Many mail order and some brick and mortar import stores advertised Japanese PC ECD and Who card titles in the video game publications of the era. Nintendo Super Famicom The Super Famicom officially adopting the abbreviated name of its predecessor, the Famicom. Although each version is essentially the same, several forms of regional lockout prevent the different versions from being compatible with one another The console introduced advanced graphics and sound capabilities compared with other systems at the time. The development of a variety of enhancement chips integrated in game cartridges helped to keep it competitive in the marketplace. The SNES was a global success becoming the best-selling console of the 16-bit era despite its relatively late start and the fierce competition it faced in North America and Europe from Sega's Genesis slash Mega Drive console. The SNES remained popular well into the 32-bit era, and continues to be popular among fans, collectors, retro gamers, and emulation enthusiasts, some of whom still make homebrew ROM images. Philips CDI The Philips CDI is an interactive multimedia CD player developed and marketed by Royal Philips Electronics NB. It was created to provide more functionality than an audio CD player or game console, but at a lower price than a personal computer with a CD-ROM drive at the time. The cost savings were due to the lack of a floppy drive, keyboard, mouse, monitor, and less operating system software. CDI also refers to the multimedia compact disc standard used by the CDI console, also known as Green Book, which was developed by Philips and Sony. Super Nintendo Entertainment System The Super Nintendo Entertainment System is a 16-bit video game console that was released by Nintendo between 1990 and 1993. In Japan and Southeast Asia, the system is called the Super Famicom, or SFC for short. In South Korea, it is known as the Super Comboy and was distributed by Hyundai Electronics. Although each version is essentially the same, Several forms of regional lockout prevent the different versions from being compatible with one another. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System is Nintendo's second home console, following the Nintendo Entertainment System. The console introduced advanced graphics and sound capabilities compared with other consoles at the time. Additionally, development of a variety of enhancement chips, which were integrated on game circuit boards, helped to keep it competitive in the marketplace. The SNES was a global success, becoming the best-selling console of the 16-bit era, despite its relative Sega CD. The Sega Mega CD, which was released as the Sega CD in North America, is an add-on device for the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis video game console, designed and produced by Sega. The device adds a CD-ROM drive to the console, allowing the user to play CD-based games and providing additional hardware functionality. It can also play audio CDs and CD-MG discs. The development of the Mega CD was confidential, game developers were not made aware of what exactly they were working on until the add-on was finally revealed at the Tokyo Toy Show in Japan. The Mega CD was designed to compete with the PC Engine CD in Japan which had a separate CD-ROM drive. The first version of the Mega CD sits underneath the Mega Drive console and loads CDs via a motorized tray. A second version places a top-loading CD-ROM drive to the right of the console and is intended primarily for use with the redesigned Mega Drive 2. Both versions of the Mega CD are compatible with the initial two versions of the Mega Drive console, 
but not with the Mega Drive 3 or Genesis 3. Panasonic 3DO The 3DO Interactive Multiplayer, often called simply 3DO, is a video game console originally produced by Panasonic in 1993. Further renditions of the hardware were released in 1994 by Sanio and Goldstar. The consoles were manufactured according to specifications created by the 3DO company, and were originally designed by Dave Needle and RJ Michael of New Technology Group. The system was conceived by entrepreneur and electronic arts founder Trip Hawkins. Despite a highly promoted launch and a host of cutting-edge technologies, the 3DO's high price, limited third-party developer support, and an oversaturated console market prevented the system from achieving success comparable to competitors Sega and Nintendo. This console was Atari Jaguar. The Atari Jaguar is a video game console that was released by Atari Corporation in 1993. It was the last to be marketed under the Atari brand until the release of the Atari Flashback in 2004. It was designed to surpass the Mega Drive slash Genesis, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and the Panasonic 3DO in processing power. Although launched one year earlier, it was eventually in competition with the Sega Saturn, the Sony PlayStation, and other consoles that made up the fifth generation of video game consoles. The console was first released in New York City and San Francisco on November 23, 1993, and the rest of the country in early 1994. Although it was promoted as the first 64-bit gaming system, the Jaguar proved to be a commercial failure and prompted Atari to leave the home video game console market. Despite NECPCF.X The PCF.X is a video game console released in Japan on December 23, 1994 by NEC Corporation. It is the 32-bit successor to NEC's PC Engine which is known in the US as the TurboGrafx-16. The PCF.X uses CDROMs as its storage medium, following on from the expansion released for its predecessor, which originally used WHO cards. The game controller resembles that of the Mega Drive in shape, only with more buttons and it is virtually identical to a Duo R.X controller except for the fact that the rapid-fire switches have been changed into Mode A-B switches. The PCF.X's computer-like design was unusual for consoles at the time. It stands upright like a tower computer while other contemporary consoles lay flat. Another interesting feature is its three expansion ports as expansion ports are relatively underused in consoles and therefore their inclusion increased the price without offering a great deal to the end user. However, SNK Neo Geo CD Neo Geo CD is a game console from SNK that was released in 1994, four years after its cartridge-based equivalent, in an effort to reduce manufacturing costs. It is the second console of the Neo Geo family. The system was originally priced at U.S. $300 new. The unit's one-time CD-ROM drive was slow, making loading times very long as a result, with the system loading up to 56 bit of data with every load. Neo Geo CD game prices were low at $50, in contrast to Neo Geo E's game cartridges, which cost as much as $300. The system can also play audio CDs. All three versions of the system have no region lock. The Neo Geo CD was bundled with a control pad instead of a joystick like the Ease version. However, the original Ease joystick could be used with all three Neo Geo CD models. Sega 32X The Sega 32X, codenamed Project Mars, is an add-on for the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis video game console. Its aim was to increase the lifespan of the aging Mega Drive slash Genesis system, which was facing increasingly stiff competition from the SNES. 
while connecting it to Mega Drive did increase its capabilities, reluctance to adapt due to the previous failure of the Mega CD and the upcoming Sega Saturn system led to low sales and a short lifespan. Sega Saturn The Sega Saturn is a 32-bit fifth-generation video game console that was first released by Sega on November 22, 1994 in Japan, May 11, 1995 in North America, and July 8, 1995 in Europe. The system was discontinued in North America and Europe in 1998, and in 2000 in Japan. The Saturn sold 9.5 million units worldwide. While its installed base in the United States ended at 2 million, its installed base in Japan was more than 6 million units. While it was popular in Japan, the Saturn failed to gain a similar market share in North America and Europe against its main competitors. Sony's PlayStation and later the Nintendo 64. In two Sony PlayStation. The PlayStation, officially abbreviated as PS, unofficially referred to as the PSX or PS1, is a 32-bit fifth-generation video game console first released by Sony Computer Entertainment in Japan on December 3, 1994. The PlayStation was the first of the PlayStation series of consoles and handheld game devices. In 2000, a redesigned, slim version was released, called the PS1, replacing the original grey console, and also being renamed to avoid confusion with its successor, the newly released PlayStation 2. The PlayStation was the first computer entertainment platform to ship 100 million units, which it had reached 9 years and 6 months after its initial launch. The last game for the system was FIFA Football 2005 released in October 2004, and after its initial launch. The last game for the system was FIFA Football 2005 released in October 2004, and the last PS, Commodore Amiga CD32. The Amiga CD32, styled CD32 and codenamed Spellbound, is the first 32-bit home video game console released in Western Europe, Australia, Canada, and Brazil. It was first announced at the Science Museum in London on July 16, 1993, and was released in September of the same year. The CD32 uses CD-ROM media, and was developed by Commodore, creator of the Commodore Amiga computer. It was based on Commodore's advanced graphics architecture chipset, and is of similar specification to the Amiga 1200 computer. Using third-party devices, it is possible to upgrade the CD32 with keyboard, floppy drive, hard drive, RAM, and mouse, turning it into the equivalent of an Amiga 1200 personal computer. Atari Jaguar CD The Atari Jaguar CD or Jag CD is a CD-ROM peripheral for the Atari Jaguar video game console. Codenamed the Jaguar 2 during development the Jaguar CD was released on September 21, 1995 and retailed $1.149.95. The device sits on top the Jaguar console, fitting into the ROM cartridge slot. The drive has its own cartridge slot to allow cartridge games to be played without removing the CD drive, and to run software which used cartridge and CD in tandem though ultimately no such software was released for the system. There was a separate memory track cartridge for storing saved game position and high scores. Nintendo Virtual Boy
The Virtual Boy was a tabletop video game console developed and manufactured by Nintendo. It was the first video game console that was supposed to be capable of displaying true 3D graphics out of the box, in a form of virtual reality. Whereas most video games use mono QLR cues to achieve the illusion of three dimensions on a two-dimensional screen, the Virtual Boy creates an illusion of depth through the effect known as parallax. In a manner similar to using a head-mounted display, the user looks into an eyepiece made of neoprene on the front of the machine, and then an eyeglass-style projector allows viewing of the monochromatic red image. It was released on July 21, 1995 in Japan and August 14, 1995 in North America at a price of around $180. It was not released. Nintendo Saddle of You The Saddle of You is a satellite modem peripheral for Nintendo's Super Famicom system that was released in Japan in 1995. The Saddle of You system was developed and released by Nintendo to receive signals broadcast from satellite TV station Wow Wow satellite radio subsidiary, St. Giga. St. Giga was responsible for file server management, maintenance, and vocalization for SoundLink games. Nintendo data broadcasts were given a fixed time slot known as the Super Famicom Hour during which scrambled Saddle of You related data was streamed via radio waves to be unscrambled by St. Giga's BS Digital High Vision T.V. Nintendo Sofamai Turbo This device is designed to sit on top of the Super Famicom, and features two cartridge slots. The premise behind this idea is that games could be produced at a much cheaper rate. Unlike the Aladdin Deck Enhancer, this device was officially approved by Nintendo under the provision that Bandai handle all the hardware manufacturing themselves The two cartridge slots are designed to share data between the games. The cartridge placed in slot 1 is the game that will be played, while the cartridge in slot 2 supplies additional data for use in the main game. 9 of the 13 Suifami Turbo titles make use of this system. Nintendo 64 The Nintendo 64, often referred to as N64, is Nintendo's third home video game console for the international market. Named for its 64-bit central processing unit, it was released in June 1996 in Japan, September 1996 in North America, March 1997 in Europe and Australia, September 1997 in France and December 1997 in Brazil. It is Nintendo's last home console to use ROM cartridges to store games, handhelds in the Game Boy line, however, continued to use game packs. As part of the fifth generation of gaming, it primarily competed with the Sony PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. The N64 was discontinued in 2002 in Japan, North America, and PAL regions by the launch of Nintendo's GameCube. The N Nintendo 64 DD The 64DD, colloquially referred to as the Nintendo 64DD, is a magnetic disk drive peripheral for the Nintendo 64 game console developed by Nintendo. DD is short for Dynamic Drive. Plugging into the extension port on the underside of the console, it allows the Nintendo 64 to use proprietary 64 MB magnetic disks for expanded and rewritable data storage. A real-time Sega Dreamcast.
The Dreamcast is a video game console which was released by Sega in November 1998 in Japan and in late 1999 in other territories. It was the first entry in the sixth generation of video game consoles, preceding its rivals, Sony PlayStation 2, Microsoft Xbox and the Nintendo GameCube. 10.6 million units were sold worldwide, as of 2002. Dreamcast sales were positive during launch, but when Sony announced the PlayStation 2, sales of the Dreamcast plummeted. When the PS2 was launched, it became very popular, and the Dreamcast lost much of its momentum. Sega later came to the realization that it did not have the resources to compete. The Dreamcast was discontinued as early as March 2001, which marked Sega's withdrawal from the console hardware business altogether. Support of the system continued in Europe and Oceania until the end of 2002, while in Japan. Sony PlayStation 2 The PlayStation 2, is a home video game console that was manufactured by Sony Computer Entertainment. It is Sony's second installment in the PlayStation series. It was released on March 4, 2000, in Japan followed by North America and Europe later the same year. The sixth generation console competed with the Sega Dreamcast, Microsoft Xbox, and Nintendo GameCube. The PlayStation 2 went on to become the best-selling video game console in history, selling over 155 million units. More than 3,874 game titles have been released for the PS2 since launch, and more than 1.5 billion copies have been sold. Sony later manufactured several smaller, lighter revisions of the console known as slimline models, and in 2000, Nintendo GameCube. The GameCube was released worldwide in 2002. The sixth generation console is the successor to the Nintendo 64 and competed with Sony's PlayStation 2, Microsoft's Xbox, and Sega's Dreamcast. The GameCube is the first Nintendo console to use optical discs for its primary storage medium. The discs are similar to the mini DVD format, and as a result of their smaller size, the system was not designed to play standard DVDs or audio CDs Nintendo Press ends a variety of connectivity options for the GameCube. It supports online gaming for a small number of games via the broadband or modem adapter, sold separately, and it connects to the Game Boy Advance, allowing players to access exclusive in-game features using the handheld as a second screen and controller. Contemporary reception of the GameCube was generally positive. Some praised the extensive software library and high-quality games, while others criticized the console's exterior design and lack of features. Nintendo, Nintendo WI The Wii is a home video game console released by Nintendo on November 19, 2006. As a seventh-generation console, the Wii competes with Microsoft's Xbox 360 and Sony's PlayStation 3. Nintendo states that its console targets a broader demographic than that of the two others. As of the first quarter of 2012, the Wii leads its generation over PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in worldwide sales, with more than 101 million units sold. In December 2009, the console broke the sales record for a single month in the United States. The Wii introduced the Wii Remote Controller, which can be used as a handheld pointing device and which detects movement in three dimensions. Another notable feature of the console is the now defunct Wii Connect 24, which enabled it to receive messages and updates over the internet while in standby mode. Like other seventh generation consoles, it features a game download service, called Virtual Console, Nintendo WiWare. WiiWare is a service that allows Wii users to download games and applications specifically designed and developed for the Wii video game console made by Nintendo. 
These games and applications can only be purchased and downloaded from the Wii Shop channel under the WiiWare section. Once the user has downloaded the game or application, it will appear in their Wii menu or SD card menu as a new channel. WiiWare is a companion to the Virtual Console, which specializes in emulated games originally developed for other systems instead of original games. Sony PlayStation 3 The PlayStation 3, abbreviated to PS3, is a home video game console developed by Sony Computer Entertainment. It is the successor to PlayStation 2, and is part of the PlayStation brand of consoles. It was the first console to use Blu-ray disc as its primary storage medium. The console was the first PlayStation to integrate social gaming services, including being the first to introduce Sony's social gaming service, PlayStation Network, and its remote connectivity with PlayStation Portable and PlayStation Vita, being able to remote control the console from the devices. Nintendo WIU The Wii U is the first Nintendo console to support HD graphics. The system's primary controller is the Wii U GamePad, which features an embedded touchscreen, and combines directional buttons, analog sticks, and action buttons. The screen can be used either as a supplement to the main display, or in supported games, to play the game directly on the game pad independently of the television. The Wii U is backward compatible with all Wii software and accessories games can support any combination of the game pad, Wii Remote, Nunhook, Balance Board, or Nintendo's more traditionally designed classic controller or Wii U Pro controller for input. Online functionality centers around the Nintendo Network Platform and Miiverse, an integrated social networking service which allows users to share content in game-specific communities. Blissbox Press keys 1 through 4 to reset oh, Magnavox Odyssey Bliss Box <laughs>